Hey everyone, this is GamerCat09 and welcome back to Corpse Party. We are continuing on with Chapter 3! The last chapter was pretty freaking crazy. We got one of the crazy freaking endings. So, again, I'm going to try to not read over the Japanese voice acting, but if I do, I apologize. Let's go! I love that sound, that like drastic, like, do you select this? Uh oh. I can't take much more of this. What's wrong with this school? Who the hell was that? Why is he here? If we got hit with a hammer like that, we'd be dead? Where's Kurosaki? Don't worry about him. He was just here. We'll run into him any minute now. I'm sure of it. I hate this. I hate this. I don't want to die like that. You saw it too, right? Emmy's body? Her head. I didn't read that. It, it's just going automatically. Don't think about it, seriously. It's really difficult to let them talk because... It just, it just skips through without me hitting anything, so I have to read it as quick as possible over their talking, or else I don't get to read it, so. Yes, a hammer! Damn it, where did everyone go? Look, Fukori, look! Oh dear god. It can't be. The corridor. It grew. What? Are you? No, no, the other way. Look down the hall. Something. Yeah, I think something's coming. What? I don't even have to read that. Yes, Foxy. In the last chapter... In the last chapter, if you saw, we saw a figure with a hammer and he's been clob clobbering these students in the head with the hammer, which is why there's so many like dead bodies all over the place. What's happening? What the hell is going on? I still can't move. Uh-oh. Oh! Here's the headless kid. Give me back my head. Wow. Out of the fire pit and into the fire. There's no win. Unidentified caller. Oh, do I actually have to... I think I actually have to answer this. Yes. 
Hello? Help me. Help me. Naomi. Naomi, Naomi are you there? Answer me, please. Mom? Mom! Mom, it's me. I'm in real trouble. Naomi, please just let me hear your voice. Please, just say something. I'm your mom, Naomi. God, please. Don't let anything have happened to her. Help me. Help me. Help me. Oh, throw your phone. Good job. Now you'll never be able to use it for help. So that was Naomi. I don't understand. You said we'd make it out of here together. Why would you kill yourself? What happened? What did you see? It really is a pity. Oh, it's her! Who are you? I'm the spirit of a girl who died here. Do you know what happened to her? I believe your friend was afflicted. With what? The curse that holds this school together. Those who are touched by it slowly lose their minds to it. Some people realize this is happening and go to great lengths to prevent it, even taking their own lives. Of course, others just go insane. Sometimes they start hurting the people around them. The exact response to this curse varies quite a bit from one person to the next. That's horrible. Now that your friend has passed away, this school, this space, is yours alone. You are its only living occupant. That's depressing. No. You will be here. Oh, you will be all by yourself from here on out until the day you die. Damn. <sighs> That's not heavy or anything. My cell phone does have Seiko's number stored in it, and Satoshi's too. 
And my ankle's fucked. And I fell down the stairs. Good job, me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That sound, was that my leg? Uh-oh. And she threw up. Pull yourself together. You're a tough cookie. This isn't like you. I'm not tough at all. what you do when you are stuck in a school and you're alone you freak the fuck out you cry and you cry for mommy because that's gonna make everything better damn right she gave up <laughs> oh she gave up fuck that You're doing great, Yuka. I'm really impressed how long you've gone without crying. <laughs> Meanwhile, Naomi is bawling her eyes out. Oh. Like, I, I would expect Yuka to probably be the crier because she's young. She's, you know, middle school. Like, yeah, she's crying in her vomit. Also, why does Naomi vomit so much? I would like to know that. Like... Is she just I, like I, I'm trying? I'm trying to think. Is it the stress? Is she scaring herself to the point that she's getting sick from it? Because if you're locked, if you're stuck in a dimension where there's no food, there's no water, you're either going to starve to death or eat your friend. The last thing you want to be doing is vomiting, <laughs> like. Maybe that's just me, but you're gonna dehydrate yourself and die quicker. Can you imagine dying while puking? Some people do throw up when they're stressed out. Okay, so maybe that. Maybe she's just stressed out and is vomiting. Oh. Uh, she breaks her ankle. God damn it. Ugh, I don't think I would eat the maggots after they've been eating. But then again, if it's life or death, I guess I'd eat the mag the maggots. I almost said I'd eat the magnets, but what the hell am I talking about? I'm not crying. I'm not. I sense that the other corporeal beings such as yourselves were brought here as well. So wait, are they're talking to a spirit and they're completely fine with it. What, what is going on? Why did we just like warp into this? Like nine in total, nine poor souls pulled in at once. That would be me and Yuka, Naomi, Yoshiki, Shinazaki. Miss Yui, Shinohara, Suzumoto, and Morishige? Morishige? Is it Morishige? I already forget. In other words, everybody in the room at the time. So, so. Damn it. <laughs> so everybody else is in this school too? Not exactly. As I mentioned, this is a nexus of closed spaces. Your friends are scattered among them. So in essence, they are indeed all in the school, but it's not quite the same place for everyone. Meeting anyone else here may prove difficult. If you should attempt to defy the will of the school to find them, you may ultimately invoke its wrath, and that's a fate best avoided. Oh!
We have to try anyway. We appreciate the warning, but we have to try. We'll do whatever it takes to find everyone and get out of here. Is, is she saying Oni-chan? Is Oni-chan big brother? Am I hearing that correctly? Morishige. Okay, thank you, Foxy. Morishige. Big brother. They're all such good people. They've done nothing to deserve this. Hold on. Hold on. Time out. Time out. One of them does deserve it, and that's the one who made us do the fucking charm that she found on the internet that we shouldn't have said because... Obvious reasons! So if there's anyone who should be locked in here, it's her. <laughs> She's the one that deserves to be in this school alone for making us do the freaking charm! See, I just solved the problem. I just solved the problem. You guys don't want to get locked up in a school? Then you don't fucking say a charm that you found on the internet. Problem solved. End of story, game over. Right off into the distance on unicorns because... Damn. They- one of them has done something to deserve this. So one of the nine totally deserves to be locked in here. Yes, let's sacrifice her to appease the spirits. Also... Hi Gamer Heroes! Welcome to the stream, happy Tuesday. Yeah, y Yuka's like the, the least of our problems. Like, she shouldn't be in here at all, the poor thing. Just leave the- I don't even remember what her name is. It's not Naomi. Who the fuck's the girl? I don't remember her name already, but she can stay here. Isn't it Suki or something? Or uh, Ayumi, thank you. Ayumi can stay here. Yes, Ayumi can stay here and everyone else can go home. Fuck you, Ayumi. <laughs> and I absolutely will not give up on them just because there's some nebulous curse that might strike back at me. It's a rarity to find such righteous determination these days. Be sure you don't lose it along the way. Your desire not to let a single person die. Try to retain that noble spirit, no matter what horrors may await. And even if you can't save everyone, you may still be able to alter your fate for the better, if only by the tiniest of margins. Just don't end up like us. Brother? Close that. Hmm? What is it? What did he mean by the school's wrath? I'm not sure. Is he saying the school has a mind of its own or something? At any rate, we should try to find Miss Yui and the others as soon as possible. And we need to get you home too. If we come across a way out of here, I want you to take it. There must be an entranceway, or an emergency exit, or roof access, or something that leads outside. And if there is, you go straight home. No buts. Capiche? Okay. Oh, I fully expect it, Senpai. I fully expect so much more death. I'm not even ready. Okay. There's a newspaper article pinned to the wall. Serial kidnapping ends in murder, but much of the newsprint is worn away. Okay, so this is something that everyone reads, but everybody has a different reaction to it. What a horrible incident. I remember hearing about this from Shinuzaki. During one of her candlelight vigils, I guess she did say it was a true story. Well, of course it's a true story. This is proof of it. 
Is this school really from such a long time ago? Sitting on one of the shelves behind the glass door is a tiny key. Unfortunately, the cabinet itself seems to be locked, so there's no way to get to it. Okay, so that's a good thing to note. And there's also a board piece down there we could get. So I will have to go out and down. Alright. Oh! Oh shit, it's up there. So I can't get to it. Well, fuck. Just climb over a desk, dude! Like, seriously. Oh, wait! Everything changed. Hang on. It jumped. That board was here, and it jumped up there. To the top left. Because the door is, like, you could see it. I'll use my cursor. You could see the door right here. The board was originally here. Now it's here. Hmm. wonder if we can go back in the other way and find that. There's a rusted bucket on the ground. It's empty. Oh. The last two chapters, there was liquid in there. I wonder if we get to find out what that liquid is. Uh-oh. Okay. G uh, uh, the child? Spirit? That red dress looked pretty old-fashioned. Oh. Big brother? Uh. It's okay. She's gone now. We'll be fine. Uh. Okay. So. Oh no. I'm sorry. It doesn't move. I don't think. Wait, does it? Something changes. It was definitely up here, right? Like, this- this moved. I can't get to that. Okay, it's not me. It does move. Alright, well, I guess I can't do anything about it now, so I'm just gonna go up. I can't go that way, so I have to go in here. Oh, it's really dark. Uh-oh. Drug! <laughs> Owie! You hurt my hand, big brother! You got don't look! It's not a prop or anything. It's a real dead body. This is really happening, isn't it? Big, big brother? A dead body. An actual dead body. Am I going to end up like this too? Are all of us going to die here? Big brother! Uh, uh, Yuka, it, it, it's okay. Come on, Yuka, we're leaving this room. Right after I look closely at this dead body. There's a corpse sprawled out on the ground, decomposing rapidly. A message has been painstakingly carved into the floorboards next to it, seemingly with fingernails and all. Hang on, let me save first. Let's save. Now we'll read it. Kill me, please, kill me, please, kill me, please, kill me, please, please kill me. K 
can't take any more, can't take any more, can't take any more. Let. Me. Out. Oh boy. There's a corpse sprawled out on the ground, decomposing rapidly. It's clutching a letter in its hand. The letter reads as follows. Dear brother, I regret that we couldn't see one another again before my death, but I no longer have the energy to move, and I'm so desperately thirsty. My tongues started swelling up like a sponge, and it keeps cutting off my air. I'd find it fascinating if it would stop nearly suffocating me. I just want something to drink, anything. Heck, I'd even drink that scary orange juice from the back of the fridge right about now. But there's not a drop of anything to be found. I'm so thirsty, it's actually making me nauseous. Weird, huh? I just hope at least you can make it out of here alive. If anyone else finds this, my name is Hiroku Motomura from Amazaki West High, Class 2-4. Damn. Jesus. What? Wait, wait, go back. Death is blind. It comes for all souls, regardless of their worth or lack thereof. Totally not creepy. What's in this cabinet? The shelf is crammed full of very old, thoroughly yellowed books with unusual titles. The Ballad of Bad Evil Bunny. Book of the Beetle Wings. Okay. Cool. Alright. Oh, there's, there's, there's some victim memoirs. Uh-oh, we got victim memoirs again. Are we gonna find out that we ate our sister or something <laughs> along the way? Otaki Michuharu, I want to see you again, a ghost told me. That you were brought here too, but we're in different spaces. Even though we're in the same school, I can't see you. Why did this happen to us? I shouldn't be here. I should be in my Math 1 class at prep school. My sister's going to be really mad at me for skipping. I don't think she'd believe this excuse even if I told her, though. I feel like if I can never find you, I'll be able to get out of here alive. I don't know why. But if we really are in the same school, then I know there must be a way of getting in contact with you, and I'm going to find it. Name tag acquired. Misatu Minsu. Let's check our list. Um, withered away from dehydration. That's the one we just picked up. Succumbed to darkening and died in anguish. Darkening? What's darkening? Hmm. She didn't deserve to be a slushy. Okay. Also, we have HP for some reason. I just realized that. So I can't go any further. Huh. Just in case. That random fly. It's got a load in that fly. Uh oh. Yuka? Big brother, will we ever be able to go home again? Or are we really stuck here until we d die? It's not true, right? Big brother, right? <sighs> we'll be okay, Yuka. We'll be okay. We'll make it out of here, Yuka. All of us, together. There's no need for you to worry. After all, you've got me, right? 
Uh huh. Yes. Yes. That's a good girl. Big brother. Nerves got the better of you, huh? Poor thing. I have to be strong. I have to swallow my own trepidation and show Yuka there's nothing to be afraid of. Somewhere in here, Naomi may also be feeling scared and alone. We need to find her as soon as we can. Alright. I can't- I can't tell the little girl that we're gonna die! I can't do that! I know, she's gonna die first, like... Maybe I have to go down here. The gap is relatively narrow, seems crossable, a little too wide to risk jumping. Oh, there we go. Is it just me, or is that board moving? Yeah, it was over here on this side. Oh, wait. Yeah, it was over on this side a minute ago. Maybe we can ambush it? Let's try to find the exact spot where it was sitting before. It's right here. Hey, Yuka. Can you wait here for just a second? Huh? Big brother, no! Don't leave me! Don't worry. I'll be right back. I just had a thought, that's all. Well, okay. But if you have... But you have to come right back, you promise? You bet. Okay. Stay right there. We need a board. Watch the school just, like, collapse now. That would be my luck. And then we can't be. It's very possible. Yuka, can you grab that board? Uh-huh. I got it! We have a board! Acquired loose board. Alright, now we're back together. <laughs> right? We just left the little girl. It's fine. Nicely done. I'd say we're one step closer to getting out of here now. You all set? Come on, let's go. Okay. Uh-oh. Actually, wait a sec, big brother. Hmm? What's up? Um, this is for you. Oh, what is it? Such a cute little bottle. Well, you see, it's my secret charm. It's full of scented beads. Oh, there's sure a lot of them in there. Give it a sniff. Oh, great. Way to make me hungry, sis. Thanks. Hey, Carmel. That smells really good. Isn't it neat? She probably spent her allowance at that stationary shop in town again. See? Carmel flavor is special. It protects you from accidents, and shields you from danger, and makes you hungry in nexuses without food. <laughs> That's why I want you to have it! Flavor? This place frightening you? Don't worry. I'll be alright. You should hang on to it yourself. But I really don't mind. You take it. <laughs> yeah, we have a caramel scent, but nothing edible. <laughs> After we just stared at a ghost that starved to death. Yep. We should go up to the ghost that died of starvation and be like, Smell this! Does this remind you of anything? And then we die. Because she kills us. Huh? I just... I don't want anything to happen to my big brother. Of course you don't, your family. 
You're a scatterbrain. You always get freaked out so easily, and it really scares me. Well, you know, it runs in the family. It runs in the family. Her whole body is quaking in fear. She really wants me to take it. Take it! Alright, I guess I could borrow it for a little. Thanks. Take good care of it, okay? Caramel flavor will keep you safe, but that's not all. What? No, what else it does? It's a secret! It makes you salivate because you're hungry, right? What, what do you mean by that? If I tell you, you'll get all bothered. So I'm not gonna. Something that would bother me. More than calling me a scatterbrain. Receive scented beads. Get death waving that scented bottle in front of that corpse. Yeah. All right. So let's put this here. Well. Uh oh. Damn! Another earthquake. Yuka, grab my hand. Uh oh. It's over. Oh, the board fixed itself. That's interesting. Well, okay. That's a thing. So now we know when those happen, for sure everything changes. There are skeletal remains of a young girl sprawled out across the ground. Looking closely, she seems to be holding a letter in her bony fingers. Yoshike, Yoshike, I'm so sorry. If only I hadn't discovered that stupid charm. Oh, what charm would that be? Did everyone say this is a Chico charm and end up here? Where is she? Wait, did I not collect her? Oh, there we go. Mix in with the tired scraps of uniform still clinging to the body is a student ID name tag. Hakuro number three, junior high school, class 3-5, Mayo Kashi Wa... Kasha Watani. What a friggin' name. A junior high student? Good god. Alright, so let's 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 look. There she is. Starved to death while searching for friends. Hot. Great. Excited. <laughs> Alright, so there's there's a note. You missed the final bell. You missed the end of school. If you're still here, then you always will be. It's not, oh, there's a little boy I'm not going to see. I don't know if I want to be here yet, but... Oh! Uh... Every shelf of every cabinet you must turn every page and rifle through if you wish to learn more about this school. Uh, who've become Trapped within these walls, many messages have been left 
behind by the others. Okay, I don't know if I'm supposed to go from the bottom. I don't know why I went from the bottom right up, but yeah. Um, may you use their words as a guide to help break free of the curse. Okay, so I, I was supposed to Okay, I don't know why I read them the way I did. You you get it. You get it. You got it. It's fine. Sorry. Oh, there's some notes. Victim memoirs, two out of five. I'm so cold. I feel like the heat is just oozing out of my body, bit by bit. And then there's that sound that just won't stop. What is it? My ears hurt. I can't focus on anything. I feel like there's a thin film surrounding my entire brain. I found a dying message next to one of the corpses earlier. It said there's a hallway somewhere in here that changes its size, appearing longer or shorter, pretty much on a whim. I wonder where it is. I hate that I don't feel anything when I see a human body anymore. It sickens me. Yeah. The front entrance way might as well be painted on. It's neither opening nor giving any hints that it will ever open. Sweet. I'm leaving that kid alone. He can stay there. Oh, there's a door there. Oh, it's a cabinet. A heavy cabinet's collapsed across the floor here. The boards around it are creaking under its weight. Climbing over it would be far too risky. Fair enough, thanks, game. Uh-oh. Why do you kill me? You pay. Well, shit. That kid's gonna get up and get me. Dirty husk left behind by the soul. Thank you, Gozen. Happy Tuesday. Thank you. Um, filthy, disgusting carbon dust. Repulsive bag of meat and tissue. Yet one must scrub and clean it well. Presented at the moment of salvation. For the Lord doth watch over us always. Alright. And down. I think it's down. Down or up? I can't tell anymore. Door is locked to the infirmary, so I can't go that way here. There's no body. Science lab. Can't open it still. I hate that it it does like the whole like you can't really see. Okay, so I can't go this way. So I have to go up. Oh, there's a body. Skeletal remains of a female student are sprawled across the floor. Pinned to what's left of her school uniform is a student ID name tag. St. Mary Ann University High School, Class 2-1, Megumi Sugi. Let's see how she died. Starved to death after desperate search for friend. Sweet. There's something sparkling up on the, the... Wow. I just added words. <laughs> Hi, Gozen. How's it going? Happy Tuesday. How'd your stream go? There's something sparkling on the ground. Pick it up. Yes. Acquired unknown key. I wonder where that goes. I'll find out. Oh, boy. We're up by the bathrooms, I think, right? Yeah, lavatories, boys' room to the left, girls' room at the end of the hall. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! I think I know what's coming! Big brother? Hmm? What's up? I have to go potty. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I think I know what the bucket's for now. 
Oh, well, the sign says there are the lavatories, so go ahead. I'll wait for you here. Okay. Yuka, uh oh. Yuka, sorry to ask, but which one is it? PP. Gotcha. If anything happens, just yell real loud, okay? Okay. Well, at least he's a caring brother. I hate asking such a personal question, but this place is full of surprises. I need to know how long to wait before getting worried. I'm sorry, but... Don't you think the issue of privacy in a... Abandoned school, trapped in a nexus, full of dead people, and fucking creepy ghosts, don't you think? You could break that rule once, just to make sure your sister's okay, don't you think? Exactly, Foxy. Exactly. Like, he's probably, he's probably thinking it matters which one, because you're going to take longer to take a crap than you do to pee. That's probably his logic, but <laughs> toilet paper, bro. <laughs> but like, I I'm sorry, but if I was trapped with someone, male or female, related or not, I'd be like, I have to pee, and you're coming with me. I'm <laughs> like, I wouldn't even. You can watch me pee. You can watch me pee. Just. Watch my back and make sure that I don't get strung up in a bathroom in a freaking noose by a ghost. How about that? I will let you watch me pee if you can assure that I won't die. That's just me, though. Maybe maybe I have no shame, but again, wh why, why is it just like, you know, oh, you know, oh, she's got to go to the bathroom. I better go leave her alone in this abandoned school. No, come watch me pee. God damn it. Damn it! Hate it! The door is boarded up with tightly hammered nails. It won't open. Oh boy. Uh oh. oh, oh. Hey, done already? I mean, she peed. It can't take that long. Big brother, I couldn't go. Huh? Ow. Why? Why, why can't you go? Are you going to tell me why? Or... Okay. We're going to find out why. Oh, that's why. Seriously? Um, you got piss on the floor. You see, you see this corner right here by the sink? Piss on the floor. Right here. Piss on the floor. <laughs> Or better yet, back here. Piss on the floor. <laughs> Does it matter? Look at this school. There's holes everywhere. <laughs> Use the sink. Like, <laughs> pee into the void. Pee on the floor. Thank you. By the way, hi, Bowie. Happy Tuesday. But, like, who cares where you go? Have you seen this school? Just pee. Just pee. Please just pee. You weren't kidding. You really couldn't go. Let's try to find another bathroom. Oh my god, Satoshi. This is, this is like the ass cream. It's like a what the fuck moment. Like, really? Are we having this conversation? Can you hold it? Pee on the floor! <laughs> Pee on the floor! Just do it! Oh. Ugh. Listen... <laughs> God, be nice if the boys room were an option at least. Oh my god. <laughs> you know what you need? A bladder infection. That's what you need right now because that's how you want to die. Bladder infection. <laughs> Dear freaking lord. Alright. To the bucket. I hate that it does that. I don't know what's happening. Alright. It's been a while since there's been a save point, and I don't like that. Wait. 
up yet. Okay, so you're gonna follow me probably. Or not. That's cool too. So let's go down. <laughs> oh, Mr. Bucket. Boss Papa in my mouth, oh, Mr. Bucket. Mr. Rusty Bucket. Peed it. Do it. Pop a squat. Let's go save our game. Before anything kills us. Why, why is that like a dramatic option? Like, save your progress! Of course I want to save my progress. So I have- wait. I have a key so I can probably go back to that other room, open that cabinet, and get- Excuse me, that key in there. <laughs> I- I would love to see that, Foxy. Can you please? I'm sorry, I guess I just have no shame when it comes to going to the bathroom. Uh, it's locked, so there's no way of getting it. But... So wait, a rusty brown key has a label on it, but oxidation has made it completely illegible. Yuka's charm protection seems to be all the rage these days. Not for that. Is it for the infirmary? The piss misadventures. Okay. Maybe we have to go to the infirmary and use it there? Because that's locked. Or maybe the other room next to the infirmary we've never been able to open. It just like sits up. I don't ask him anything because I'm afraid he'll kill me. He just waits till I walk by and then he just stands up. So I'll leave him alone for now until I have to. Let's see if it's this. Oh, okay, it is to the infirmary. All right. Why does every place lead to the infirmary? Uh oh. I'm so sorry, Seiko. Naomi. Naomi. Oh, so we can hear her. All right. Uh, medicine and tonics. Are all these the same? No water comes out. I didn't realize just how thirsty I am. I feel like I would be able to survive in this environment because I don't really drink. Like, I'm never really thirsty. I think I would survive longer than most people. But still die, of course. Like, I'm not saying I would defy all odds. I mean, I would die of thirst, but... <laughs> Have we forgotten Naomi's ankle is shattered and she lost all her shit? I guess. There's a blood-spattered notebook on the desk with the word diary written in bold letters at the top. Like some sort of prop. Okay, so it's molded to the desk still. That hasn't changed. Monthly goal. Wash your hands with soap. Oh, remember? Was it the last chapter? It had tongue removal on it? So, it, it's these rooms are slightly different from each other. Pair of scissors covered in blood. That's the same. Countless old expired medicine bottles with faded yellow labels. I think that's that might be different. Oh. The bed's a lot less dusty than I would have imagined. Pee on it! <laughs> uh huh. Big brother, I'm tired. You are? Do you want to take a quick rest before we go then? But you have to pee! You rest here with me too, big brother. 
If you insist. If you insist, it certainly can't hurt to lie down for a bit in a creepy freaking place that's abandoned with murderous ghosts around and dead bodies. I'd be worried leaving you here by yourself anyway. Oh my god, you're so needy. <laughs> like, big brother, I'm scared. Big brother, I gotta pee. Big brother, I'm hungry. God damn it. Like, more needier than my cat. I know you're a kid, but... Yeah, me too. I wonder what time it is. It feels like it's probably time for dinner with mom. Oh, so time stopped. I'm not sure. My watch stopped a while ago. I want to go home. Don't worry. We'll get home. We'll find a way. Once you meet up with, once we meet up with Naomi, Yoshiki, and the others, I'm sure we'll come up with something. They're all probably looking into possible escape routes themselves right now. So we better keep up the search too, or else we'll look like slackers by the time they find us. Either way, it'll work out. I know it will. Okay, if you really believe that. Then I'll believe it too. Yuka. Yuka. It'll all work out, huh? We can't even open the windows here, much less get outside. I basically just told her we can circumvent reality, nothing but empty words, thin as paper. But I guess it's the hope of escape that gives us a reason to keep going, to keep living. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. All we can do is tell ourselves we'll find a way out and pray that it actually happens. Oh, crap. Is he dead? Oh, he's alive! Yoshiki's alive! Last chapter, he was whacked with a hammer. Oh, where, where am I? Oh. God, my head is pounding. Uh-oh. Oh. It's... You! Where the hell did you take me? <laughs> Wh where's Shinzaki? Okay, laughing isn't a valid answer. Uh oh. Oh, they all ran away. Uh oh. Who's that? Uh oh. Oh, there's the dude! Ugh. My legs! I can't stand up! Oh, we're fucked. Dead. God damn it! So dead. So freaking dead. Damn, I nodded off. Why damn? What am I doing? This is no time to be sleeping. Big brother? Uh-oh. 
This isn't home. Yuka, Nakuna, Moskos Takegamanda. Don't cry, Yuka. It's only going to be a little longer, I promise. Don't make promises. Don't don't promise her stuff. When we get back, I'll buy you some rock candy, okay? The green kind with the sweet red bean flavor? You bet. I know how much you've been craving it. Okay, I'll be good. That a girl. Food! It gets her every time. <laughs> so, do I have to bribe her with food so she pisses on the floor? <laughs> How about that? I'm worried about Naomi. I hope she's got someone to keep her company. Shinohara, or anyone, really. She may be strong-willed, but she loses heart really quickly if no one's there to keep her grounded. Come on, Yuka. Let's go. You can stand, right? Why wouldn't she be able to? Like, oh, you just, you just had a nap. Are you able to stand? I, uh, I don't know. Okay. If you get tired again, we can always come back. Okay? I mean, he is a nice, kind, caring, considerate brother, but that randomly appeared out of nowhere. I'm going to save before I read that. Because I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, there. There's a section of old newspaper on the floor. Read it? Yes. Heavenly Post. Four children abducted and killed. Follow-up report. The brutal, shocking deaths of the recent kidnapped grade schoolers have now been traced back to the hands of the instructor found in the room with them. A large pair of sewing scissors were found in his possession. And these were confirmed to be the tool used in removing the victim's tongues, ultimately leading to the death through excessive bleeding or choking. One of the victims even had the majority of her head slowly and methodically removed. This cranial mass was found on the floor next to her body. Of these children, one was blank when investigators arrived at the scene of the crime. Oh, was one alive? Was one of them alive? She was blank, but somehow blank, 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 blank. The blank, 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 blank. The newspaper is torn at this point. The bottom half of the article is missing. Big brother, the children in this picture... Yeah, that's the girl in the red dress. And that boy wearing shorts, he's the one we saw earlier. Someone seems to have made notes in the margins of the article using a red pen. Have a good night, Gozen. Thank you. Thanks for visiting. Um, I, I think you, I think you is about 14. Yeah. Friends killed by spirits of children. Law, purpose, spread of the curse, gathering. Children with no tongues, girl with top of head missing, girl in red dress. Child victim, grudge, gave shape to school building, escape. Okay. I can't take this anymore! That was Shinozaki's voice. Come on, Yuka, let's go! Okay. Oh boy. Oh, there's blood out here. There wasn't blood out here before. Oh, does that mean. Oh no, we're gonna see Mayu, aren't we? Beep! What, what, what is it? The floor is stained with a sticky residue, as if something, or more likely someone, were dragged down the hall. Oh boy. There's a metal tool of some sort lying on the ground here. Pick it up. Yes. Acquired the nail puller. Uh oh. Oh, the stain's here now. There's a large black stain on the wall. It looks almost organic, but it's not actually wet. And there's no indication as to how it got there. That's where 
Mayu is. God damn. So. We can go into the boys' bathroom now. We have the nail puller. Doors boarded up. Use the nail puller. Yes. There we go. Don't you want to go check it out before you let your sister go in there? I mean, just hypothetically saying. Oh no. There are no stalls. So what now? Do you have to go really bad? She's been holding it in for like a day. Yes. Well, if you can't hold it any longer, then how about I wait outside and do what you've got to do? No, I'll keep holding it. Oh my god, you got just piss on the floor. <sighs> no, those aren't toilets. Those are urinals. They're urinals. But like <laughs> exactly, piss in the void. Like who cares if it goes down to the second floor? Like just piss on the floor. I don't know. Okay, but don't strain yourself. When you got to go, you got to go after all. <sighs> When you have to bladder infection, you have to bladder infection. There's notes here. Three out of five. Mitsuharu really isn't anywhere to be found, is he? I guess it's true. I'll probably never see him again. But I may have figured out a way of getting in contact with him, at least. He left me a message on the teacher's desk in one of the classrooms. Looks like even when we're in a different... Even when we're in different spaces, we can still communicate that way. But it's not enough. There's no warmth to be felt from the written word alone. I miss our fights, our impromptu wrestling matches, but it's not just the physical contact. What I want more than anything is to see his face again. I just want to be able to see him around and make small talk, ask him how he's been and what he plans to do after school. Those simple, everyday interactions are some of my most precious memories now, what I wouldn't give to have those days back. Funny what runs through your head when you're trying to make frostbitten fingers move without cracking off. What? Why, why are your fingers frostbitten? I'm confused. Those who choose to ignore the darkness that dwells in the hearts of man may be stuck forever in a loop. For in this world, there are some truths that simply must be known, no matter how disturbing. But curiosity can be deadly, and other truths are best left untold. Beware the messages of the dead, for there be curses among them, curses that can crush even the strongest wills, demolishing all semblance of reason. If you wish to protect your sanity, take heed. Do not let your curiosity get the better of you. Do not read the victim's memoirs to their conclusion. Or you can, but just save beforehand, like I do. Right? I agree, Foxy. If it were you or I, I'd make her piss on the floor. I'd be like, listen. Deal with it. Piss on the floor. I've had enough of your shit, lady. Uh-oh. What was that? Sounds like a camera? Oh. Oh. oh, it's him! Ah, Marishige, you're okay. Mochida, you as well? I'm so relieved to see someone else from class. So it's them three. Uh oh. 
her her body's there now. Uh oh. Oh boy. What what is this? Is it was it a person? It's an awful sight, isn't it? Seems like pulverized human remains to me. There's a bit of breast meat mixed in, so I'm guessing female? Who the fuck points that out? I don't know why her body is there now. That is weird. Maybe taking a picture of it brought it to life or something? Never thought I'd see something so horrific. Makes me want to throw up. Uh, uh, yeah. At any rate, I'm glad you're alright. Have you found anyone else? I'm afraid I haven't. I only just awoke in here a short while ago and haven't encountered a single other soul. Same story as us, then. My sister and I haven't come across anyone else yet. Oh no. So, you haven't seen Mayu then? Oh, she's right there! She's right there! Oh no. Oh god. No, sorry. That poor girl. I'm sure she's in here somewhere. Shivering. And crying. Oh, she's here! She's not shivering or crying. She's right there. I need to find her. I need to be with her. But you already are. I'm certain Suzumoto must be thinking the same thing about you. How about we look for her together? Right there. Oh god. It hurts to know. No, if we're split up, that raises the odds of stumbling upon someone else. So I'm going to take another look around the building by myself. Alright, then how about we designate Classroom 1A as an official rendezvous point? If you find any of the others, tell them we'll all be gathering together there. And we'll do the same. Sound good? Sounds like a plan. Brother? What is that? Is it throw up? You're so naive. It's nothing. Don't look at it, okay? Come on, let's get out of here. That boy, he was taking. I'm sure it wasn't what it looked like. Come on, let's go, okay? Okay. Uh oh. Who splits up? Yeah, seriously, who splits up? So I. So I can't go to the science lab. So I'm going to save real quick. In case anything happens. <sighs> it's so sad. Once he realizes who that is, he's gonna freak out. Uh oh, there's blood. Also, this wasn't here before. What? The hallway got bigger. Oh boy. And bloodier. It's the body of a female student. Attached to her breast pocket is a white student ID name tag. Musashigiwa Girls High School. 
Class 2-3, Mika Naruse. Chia Chihaya. Nana. Please be okay. I'm sorry I'm such a coward. Ah, Mika Naruse. Skull cracked open with a blunt instrument. She was hit by the murderer. Yes, it did, Foxy. That's what it appears like. Exit to second wing door is locked. Hence the blood, I guess. So what else changed? Well, the boy's gone. It's far too risky still. Still can't go down that way. Will you pee in the bucket now? Nope. So here's classroom 1A. It's the teacher's desk. Looking closely at the teacher's desk, something seems to have been written on the surface of the pen. Oh. It's the note that they left for the teacher. Saying if we if you're here, we'll be right back. Big brother, look! It says Miss Yui! Yeah, and I recognize that sloppy handwriting. No doubt about it. It's from Yoshiki. Which means he's also been brought here, at the very least, along with Miss Yui. So if we wait here, do you think they'll come back? I really like the coffee milk she brought us. Focus, Yuki! Focus! <laughs> Everybody's like, pee in the bucket already! I don't know, maybe. Though we have no way of knowing if they're in the same space as us. Uh-oh. Words seem to have material materialized, hovering in the air just above the desk's surface, barely perceptible. Unfortunately, the letters are very faint, so you can't quite make sense of them just yet. Interesting. Oh, use the nail puller to smash the glass. Yes. Crash. The glass door is now in pieces on the floor all around you. Acquired tiny key. Regrettably, the nail puller broke on impact as well. Seems its usefulness has come to an end. Okay. I wonder what this is for. Found a cab found in a cabinet in classroom 1A has a golden sheen and a very distinctive shape. Maybe it's for like a cabinet up here or something. We can see. So I think there's a locked thing in here. So let's record my progress. Right there. And then open this, maybe? No? What the hell is this for? Hmm. Okay, so... I can't go further. Alright. That damn fly. Okay. What other rooms had cabinets? Pee in the bucket? No. Okay. 
it. Let's see what other places. Oh, maybe the tiny key could work over here. The tiny key seems to fit the lock perfectly. Let's do it. The door to the second wing is now unlocked. Oh boy. We're outside. Brr, it's freezing out here. Second wing, huh? I can't believe the school is this big. Oh boy, now she's now she's got a pee. So now she's trying to hold in the pee and it's cold. It's gonna be a nightmare. Uh, are you alright? Uh-huh. I'll be fine. Maybe there'll be a faculty bathroom in the second wing. Seems like we could climb this fence pretty easily and get the hell out of here. But look at those woods! It's like they go on forever. And they're completely surrounding this whole building. I guess now's th not the time to be worrying about that anyway. First things first. Let's take care of Yuka's predicament. Come on, let's go. Okay. All right. Oh, same point. And we're in a new area of the school. Whoa. This place doesn't feel right at all. The air is really thick. Uh-oh. Oh, big brother. My head hurts. It feels like it's going to split open. Mine too. And my ears are ringing. I don't think it's safe to be in here for very long. Do you want to wait outside, Yuka? I definitely get the feeling you'd be safer there. <clears throat> no, please! Take me with you! Don't leave me by myself! I feel like my voice has changed. Hang on. Dry throat? Yeah, wait outside. It's fine. I'll stay right by your side. Okay. <clears throat> My throat feels really dry. Yes. Let's save right there. Two. Great. Glad we had that conversation. This looks like it's gonna fall on me. Sweet. Ooh. Hmm. Staff room, the door seems affixed to the wall like a model. Can't be opened. Same with this. Yep. Wait, is that also a staff room? Yes. Okay. Can't enter the staff room, so probably no staff toilets. What's this room? Music room. Door is locked. And music is playing. Oh! That just closed. Music room door is locked. Now it's open. Suicide site. Hmm. Oh boy. And it stopped. There's not a soul to be seen anywhere near the piano. What's this? Oh, 
Okay. Donated April 1953. Kaida Piano Classroom. Alright. Is there anything on the desks? The fallen cabinet is blocking your path. It seems extraordinarily heavy. And there's glass everywhere. Climbing over it would probably be a bad idea. I'm gonna have to climb over that, won't I? Yes, there was a horror game that we played last year that involved a piano. It was in White Day. And it, it was a music room where someone died. Japan has a thing about music rooms and death. I don't know why. But they do. Can I look outside? No? No? No. Okay then. Awesome. Alright. One 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 two 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 three 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 four 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 five 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 six 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 and so on so on so on. Three one two. Three one two. Is that a code for something? Oh wow, we're really going up. Oh, who's that? There's a decaying corpse sitting in the chair. Lexern Senior High School, Class 24. Neo Takahashi. Kaorin. Kaorin. I miss you. Alright. Withered away from dehydration. Everybody dies of thirst or, like, blunt trauma. Makes sense. What's this room? Cursed art room. Oh, what's with what is with art rooms too? Everything has to be cursed here. Oh god. And there's gotta be fucking bust statues. It's a plaster bust, cheap and mass produced for use in still life paintings. Uh oh. Did you see that? Yeah. Ah, big brother. Ah, mita koto nai seifu da ga namami poi na. I see her. I don't recognize the school uniform, but she looks like a living person at least. We should talk to her. Y yeah, we should. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Hi there. Uh -oh. We're students from a school called Kisagari Academy, and uh, we performed this weird ritual with some of my classmates and lost consciousness. And when we woke up, we found ourselves trapped here. Was it the same for you? Uh-oh. Oh. Her expression isn't changing at all. Something's wrong. The female student is staring intently at the corner of the room, opening and closing her mouth rapidly, as if chanting an incantation. <laughs> Big brother? Uh, uh, yeah? Uh-oh. She's like... 
だけどそれ以上の行いはただ悲しみを満たした二度と来ない She just keeps saying a bunch of shit. It's hard to read. She goes so fast. She is talking about Sachiko, though. Yeah, in the grand scheme of things, are they not but a tiny sampling of small something? These chicks who are nested within, never to be seen again, washed away by nothingness, rising and falling in a constant stream. I don't know why it skips so quickly. Weird. It's filled with palette knives, painting oils, and mats, and other various and sundry art supplies. This seems to be where all the watercolor paints are stored. Yep. Alright, I'll let you do your thing. Have fun. Okay, so we started from there, so we're going up. Uh oh. <laughs> Who's that? Oh. Other students? Big brother! It's somebody else! I guess there are a lot of other people who were brought here too. Uh huh. Come on, let's follow her. Oh! What is that? Oh! Okay, they hurt me. I just lost health. Oh, now I know why I have health. Alright. I thought it was just gonna tell me what the fuck that was, but I guess it hurts me. I don't know what the hell that is. It's just skulls. Heavenly Host Elementary School. Notice of school closure. 10-18-1975. Due to the reputation earned from repeated tragic incidents and accidents in and around the school, plans for its abolition. Yeah. Abolition have been finalized. There have been sharp decline in registration and attendance since the initial incidents, indicating to the school board that our time is at an end. We sincerely regret to announce that Heavenly Host Elementary School will close its doors for the last time on November the 18th, 1975. It is through my own failings that this disdainful decision has come to pass, and for that, I must offer my deepest apologies to all who are affected. Filed to all teaching staff, Heavenly Host Elementary School, Principal Takamine Yanagihori. Alright. Oh, there she is. It's... Nobody has faith in me. Let me read this first before I talk to her. One. Okay, a bunch of letters again. H hey! Hi! Sorry to approach you out of nowhere like this. We're students from a school called Kisigari Academy and... Huh? What's wrong? No, no one believes you! Not a word! What? 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 Uh... Even when we finally meet other living beings, it's like they've completely lost their minds. I guess it really isn't safe to stay here for very long. What the fuck? Oh, that looks like a safe room. Nice. Uh-oh. <laughs> another earthquake? Eek! Damn it. It's okay. It's over. You handled that very well. Here, can you stand? Uh-huh. Oh. Those closed. Another body? 
Based on size, these appear to be the remains of a senior high school student. Again, how do they determine what kind of student they're looking at by bones? I don't understand. Sai Sai Academy for Girls, Class 2-3, Koito Fujiwara. Koito, Koito, you of all people. Koito. Ryoko Fujihara. Sai Sai Academy. Found note with little sister's remains. Starved to death while mourning. Oh. Wow. Principal's office. No entry permitted. Ooh. Crutch child. I have no idea where I'm going. Boys Lavatory. Any and all students responsible for damaging these facilities will be severely reprimanded. Bathrooms? No luck in here either. Oh boy. When is she gonna pee herself? Like, really? The stench is unlike anything you've ever experienced before. As compared to normal? The mirror, the mirror is covered in fuzzy mildew. You can't make much of anything out. What about this one? Yeah. Fucking piss in the goddamn bed. <laughs> oh, we're back here. Wow. Yeah. Alright, so we walked all the way around for absolutely no reason. That's awesome. Unless this is a different way, but... I don't think it is. Let's see what's down here. Oh, notes. Four out of five. Cold. Hurts to move fingers. No strength to write on desk. Cannot talk or see friends. Tendon and leg cut. Bleeding badly. Oh boy. A female stone's corpse lies sprawled on the floor. There's a couple scraps of paper from a letter set gently resting atop her bony hand. Luck is fickle. But I still have faith in it. That good luck charm, I know it's stupid, but I truly believe it works. So I know I'll see you again, Nao. And if anyone else finds this letter, please wish your good luck for me. Kaori Kimuro, class 2-4. Lexern High. I wonder how she died. Wounded during earthquake, blood out. Damn. <laughs> oh, you're pissed at her? You're pissed at her for not pissing? Irony. Okay, so... I guess... We're just leaving. There's nothing else to do in there. And we're just looking for people and bathrooms and stuff, so... Uh-oh. Yuka. Yuka, does your stomach hurt? Good! Do it! I'm gonna pee myself! That bad, huh? I'm not sure what we can do about it, though. Strange shimmy shudder. Are you going to be all right? I'll be okay. 
for the love of God, P! I'm sorry, I'm not more sympathetic in this situation, but she needs to pee. Like, stat now. Like, just do it. <laughs>